Hi friends, welcome everybody. This is Olga Scher, your host at Antinanka Earth Art School. Thank you so much for finding the time to join our class today with Barnaby Rue and Ursula Abolik. Uh, uh, I will ask you all to maybe turn off your sp uh, speaker phones for now so we cannot, we don't hear static from your living rooms. And we will um, let Barnaby uh, talk for a little bit and then we will turn everyone on and we're going to have a discussion. Welcome. We have spirit animals. They're out there. They've always been out there. Your animal is your best friend. Your animal has, your power animal has been with you for the last 10, 20 years. Who knows? Where have you been? We have to go find our power animal. And when we do, we can make a shift to a shamanic state of consciousness, just like when we're dreaming at night, only now we're awake, working the cosmos. This is direct access to source. When you find your power animal, you have answers to all the questions you'll ever need to ask. This is a great moment for you to find your power animal and to realize that uh, you have a friend out there on the other side of the moon, a friend on the black keys of the piano, a person, a power animal. It could be an Eskimo, it could be a tree, it could be a tiger, a rat, it could be a dolphin, it could be a hawk, an eagle. Which is your power animal? It's the one you already have. That's the one we're going to go look for today. And when you find it, keep it and say hello every day because they miss you and they don't need you to just leave them in the forest alone. We want you to go and find your power animal and then stay uh, in contact uh, daily with your power animal. This is important because it gives you power. It gives you basically that animal instinct. You know how a dog barks at the wrong person and licks the face of the nice person and the, and the dog knows? How come we don't know those things? Because we don't act like a power animal. So that's why you need yours, because your power animal knows those things. They know who is safe. They know who is dangerous. They know who are your true friends. And this is really a wonderful thing to do. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to work with me today, and I will bring you on a journey to connect with your power animal uh, today. And uh, this is how it's done. It's always done the same way uh, throughout centuries. And for you, you can do it the same every time. It's a routine. It's like changing the channel. What I'm going to ask you to do is to close your eyes and picture a hole. Picture a hole in the ground. It could be a roots under a tree. It could be a cave, a tunnel something you've seen in real time, a dark pond, something you jump into and it gets darker and darker, a closet you open up from childhood. Do you have a hole that you can think of from real memory, from your own memory, something you can go to? This is your idea. So you're gonna close your eyes and picture a hole and you will hear seven beats. Seven beats of the drum starts the journey and I will journey for 12 minutes, and in that time, I will be coming like this. And that beat like that is fast enough to create alpha wave in your body, receptivity mode, suggestive, suggestiveness, auto-suggestive state. You will be kind of going into a trance, and this trance is a waking trance, so you're in complete control, and you're going to a waking dream. You can go, when you go down into the hole, I'm gonna ask you to go very fast through the hole, the one you pictured. Don't spend more than three seconds there. Boom, boom, black, black, and to the other side. On the other side is a landscape. And the landscape can be a mountain, a forest, jungle, 
beach, rain, snow, and a meadow. And this landscape is where you're going to go through the hole and find the landscape. When you get there, you will see a power animal. They will come to you. Are you my power animal? Can you take me to my power animal? If they run away, jump on its back, run with it. And eventually you'll realize this is your power animal. And then you will say, take me to my mountain. I want to feel strong on my mountain. What wants to happen now for me? What's the best thing that can happen for me? And the animal will give you a crazy, wonderful journey that will fix something that you've been waiting to have wonderfully repaired. Uh, so here we go. We're going to start the journey. And I'm going to start with seven beats. And when I begin, yes, you'll close your eyes and go through your hole. Picture your hole, go through the hole. On the other side is your power animal. Take me to my mountain. What wants to happen now? I'm drumming for 12 minutes. Here we go. Close your eyes.
three minutes, three more minutes to finish your work. What wants to happen now on my mountain? With my power animal. Seven beats ends the journey, seven beats. Come back up, come back up the same hole that you went down, here we go. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your nose. Back to middle world. Back from the lower world, back from the upper world. Scratch your nose. Welcome home. The job is done. Can we have a conference call now? Can we open everybody up? Thank you, Barnaby. Well, yes, let's turn our cameras on, our speakers on, so we can all see each other. Hi there. Hi, everyone. Michelle. 
I know someone had issues with the sound. Michelle, uh, can you hear us now? Okay, perfect. And Do now you... we can turn on our microphone. Microphones are all on. Everybody's got microphones on. That's good. Michelle, Oksana can turn their microphones on. Yes. yes. Hello. Thanks for having me. Good one. Ho! Oh. And also Oksana's um, microphone is off. Yes. Hi. We can hear yeah. Oksana. Hi there. And Mariana's microphone is off. <laughs> and we have someone else here under IB who joined a little late. Can we see you? We're not sure what your name is, but it's under ID. Hello. There he is. I'm smudging you all. There's Michelle Levy. You all got a virtual smudging with Palo Santo. Oh, Wonderful. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's go find out. We're going to ask her for sharing in the wisdom of circle. It turns out the shaman. The shaman is in the room. That means that anybody who speaks may be working uh, the top shaman in the room. We don't know because we've been visited by special power animals, entities. Um, hi, Mariana. So my real question, let's start with uh, Michelle. Uh, how did you go on your power journey? Um, very realistic. Me too. Um, not so much fantasy, but, you know, picturing real places, a forest I recently walked in. I do that too. It turns out that the real places are also magical. <laughs> Who knew? Like, they have real spirits. So when we go visiting spirits in uh, lower world and upper world, uh, very often we see these uh, uh, ordinary places we just visited because they are extraordinary. So uh, what happened there? Well, it's interesting because I relate to insects and bugs. So I also pictured some real insects that I'm acquainted with. And I just, I didn't let my imagination wander so much. I felt kind of anchored by concrete boots in reality. You know, we have to remember those, those insects are coming to you because uh, they also have spirit and can talk to you. Uh, my crickets at my, uh, my real farmhouse, it turns out, are my spirit committee. My crickets are actually working with me quite a lot. And uh, it took me years to realize um, that they're not just crickets. They're actually um, cheer, my cheering committee. Go, oh, where do we go? Let's go. You know, it's, it's quite extraordinary. Yeah. So, and did anything happen uh, for you um, that made you feel like you were on your mountain? You look like you're on your mouth. <laughs> um, I think it's a struggle right now. I'm not at the summit. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I'm like riding on the backs of things that are smaller than me. So it's an insecure feeling. Okay. It's not like mounting a horse. It's like a fear that I will smush or kill the creature it's not a power animal Aha, those little those, those little uh, critters are, are telling me that uh, they're powerful enough to do the job so uh, i would trust them uh, let's, let's go on to let's go on to oksana oksana you, did you find a power animal i'm also very satisfied with your animals Michelle. But go ahead um <clears throat> so in retrospect i should have <laughs> Uh, moved myself to a quieter room because I had a crying baby in the background. So <laughs> made my journey just a little bit more challenging. But I, I was able to see in the beginning it was really tough because I couldn't see much. And I think whatever I was kind of like hoping to see, like the animals would pop up. Like I would see a deer, I would see a lion, I would see an eagle, things like I would kind of like expect to see. But then when you talked about, so when I put myself in a, in a, uh, in a place, uh, sort of like that landscape place, I saw a tiger, a very old tiger, a very slow tiger. And I asked, uh, are you my power animal? 
and he just kept moving and then all of a sudden I saw a lynx and then like that's where I felt that connection so the energy has shifted and um, and then we were just traveling together and got on top of the mountain and we were just quietly sitting nothing was happening this is a great first journey um, um, uh, Michelle's got her um insects which are very very important and magical and your links is i think you've got there once we establish connection we can uh find more about the animal by um asking questions um and uh, maybe having the, your links help some, somebody else so i've got a friend barbara and uh, she's a uh, um very weak, what can we do for her? Or she's very sad, what can we do for her? And the lynx can, can say something quite beautiful. Uh, she could say, no, no, Barbara's got this great old friend who hasn't talked to her in 10 years that will completely cheer her up, you know? And, 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 we, well, and you'll say to Barbara, where's that friend? And she'll say, you're right. So I mean, the, 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 the animals surprise you with, with answers. They kind of know things. So that's very exciting. Um, so now we have uh, Mariana. How did you go? Well, um, I usually have a problem with, uh, with this type of journeys um, and came up again today because um, where I'm having a hard time is distinguishing be between what I imagine and what is... Uh, <laughs> or whether it's like a journey is it my like imagination because i can come up with whatever i don't actually see anything when i close my eyes i don't see like a um i don't see like there's no like a like a, i don't know like there's no like a real journey i don't see stuff so some people are clear audience some people are clear sensual you know they can what? See, some people feel things some people hear things i get a little voice that gets Stop doing that. It's not necessary. You know, there's, there's lots of, well, I, get, I get voices. Yeah, it depends. So maybe I'm like too, too, uh, too focused on trying to see. Sure, you don't <laughs> need to. Distinguish between, between, okay, am I imagining it or is it what something that is what actually did happening? Did you feel something? So maybe, like, I, I just don't pay attention. I guess I just don't pay attention to, um, to anything else. Yeah, you can work on feelings. You could work on um, uh, you could work on the idea there's somebody else in the room, that kind of thing. Yeah, look, there's somebody else in the room. I see her. <laughs> I, can see her. <laughs> I think you have a spirit that's like wrapped onto your your shoulder. That's right. Point. That's yeah. Maybe you know we. It's a little guy, guardian <laughs> angel spirit. There she is. Yes, that's right. She's magical. I know her actually. <laughs> you do. Yes, you've seen her. Right. Very nice. That's exciting. Uh, so uh, what about you, uh, Olga? I, uh, <clears throat> I almost fell asleep. Uh, it was so I'm nice. Thinking. I love that drum. And, um, and then uh, I went through my usual mailbox and I saw my purple octopus and she said, where have you been for so long? <laughs> you haven't visited me for so long and you she lectured me she wasn't happy with me she said you completely forgot how to breathe how can you swim when you're not breathing from your belly so we were just breathing together and she said you need to remember it because that's what you need she, here she is oh. with the purple octopus i see that see that's a power animal yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So that was it. We just, uh, we were practicing our breathing and floating and swimming, and it felt very nice and healing. That's right. By the way, uh, Mariana, I had a vision at the very end of my journey. Uh, tell me if this uh, resonates with you. Uh, I had my, my black eagle swept down into a dark lake and pulled out from the middle of the lake this woman in a dark, green long velvet dress with sort of long red hair uh thin and she was magnificent and he pulled her out of the almost like a um vision like a um um sundance ceremony he had her talons right in her upper chest 
and he pulled her straight out of the lake and th threw her on a, a throne with a white light gleaming on her uh, entire body. Um, and I thought that was you. Wow. Uh, you know, I, you know now, now that you're talking, maybe like I just come for like a whole weekend of a journey with you. <laughs> Finally, it was something. It was pretty intense. Totally, totally resonates. Totally. Yeah, it, it did resonate. I thought so. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, and I think what it is is um, the, the the dark, p muddy pond lake is sort of like a a, a, a sleep, and it, it and I'm pulling you out into the light. The light is shining on you, and uh, uh, it's kind of a throne, meaning that uh, you're in your agency, you're in your power, and uh, um, your and pe people can can hear you talk, and they can they can know who you are. Um, it's like being on a mountain. Uh, to be on a throne, it's the same thing. But I, with the, 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 the dark green dress, uh, just uh, uh, the reddish hair, it just sort of made, made me think it was you. Um, so that was a, anyway, that was my dream and, and I just realized it belonged to somebody. <laughs> so Very nice. Uh, what, what, what you can do, by the way, in the next journey that we're going to do, uh, we're gonna do one more journey, um, we have time. And uh, what I want you to do, all of you, and for sure Michelle, um, go back to your um, insects and say, which one is my power animal? Um, is, it, is it the cicada? Is it the um, praying mantis? Is it the um, dragonfly? You know, who are you? And uh, then uh, you, you need contact with just one. You get to the lynx, as an example, Oksana, and you're going to say, um, okay, lynx, what do you want to do for me right now? Um, and you might actually ask a, a, an extraordinary question. All three of you can ask the Look at that. We have Olga too. Can ask the same question, which is um, for Oksana and Mariana and um, Olga, because they have these little girls. Um, and uh, you can ask the question, who are they? Uh, was it my sister in another lifetime? Was she my mother in a lifetime, another lifetime? Um, Etc. We don't really know. You can ask your power animal, who is this little girl that's my daughter? Um, and uh, uh, it's a kind of a, see, there she is, Katuska. Mm -hmm. And the question is, who is she really? What is her magical uh, mission with me? What is, she, what, what is she here to teach me? Of course, you probably know already what she's here to teach you. <laughs> and she's yelling at you, mother, this is what I have to teach you. <laughs> there, I see all, all of you have bossy <laughs> little girls <laughs> in a way. But that would be a really interesting question to ask your power animal. And Michelle, your job is to go get your get your, your um, insects and find out, by the way, that you cannot possibly crush them because they're the same size. In other words, when you merge with an insect, you become also a dragonfly. You have to understand this is magical reality. So it's not like a human sitting on a dragonfly. <laughs> you know what I mean? You become a dragonfly too. Obviously, Oksana is the lynx. You see what I mean? Um, and uh, what you might do, um, Mariana, is it, when you go down to the next journey, I'm going to start drumming, you might want to um, picture um, that woman on the throne and, and say, what does she want to say? And I think you'll have to realize it's you speaking. So what is it that you would say uh, in command, in agency, you know, in your power? What would you say to the world you see what i mean what would you say what do people need to hear you say you see what i mean some people need to hear you say i need more quiet you know or something uh, who knows um so let's go on another journey and uh, what I, this other journey is going to go straight down the same hall check in with the same power animal and uh, what i want you to do when you do that is uh feel free to ask a question you might ask a question for another person as well. Like I have a friend who needs help. What can you do for them? And the reason is, is because we want to help these people, but we don't always realize that the power animal really knows what the answer is to help them. You can ask an impossible question. Like my uh, friend, uh, her husband just died. Um, and uh, how does, how's the husband doing? 
see what I mean? Um, we, we, we always think that people are dead, but the truth is they're actually a little confused and, and they're a little bit um, surprised and, uh, and suddenly they're a little more relaxed and they go, oh, I get the joke now. And suddenly they, they, they're not angry about something anymore. It's really good to know uh, how these things go. My point is that there's lots of good looking questions you can ask um, when you go on a journey. Um, Michelle, you might ask your, your um, animals you've got, what is my healing modality? Am I doing touch? See, there we go, Mariana. Am I a touch person? You might just basically realize, okay, my hands are, my eyes are closed, I'm touching somebody's body and I know things. See what I mean? You touch their shoulder, etc. And the answer is, that's the way you work, see? And so you can ask this woman, this green, green woman, or you might find another you know, power animal, etc. but you have spirit guides. You might say, what is my healing modality? Because and again, who cares about you know what you see? It may be I just know. See what I mean? And I and I. So in that sense, you might find how can I speak to people? And you'll realize you can't talk to them. You can't you know, talk down to them. You can't explain things to them. Maybe you have to sing to them. Who knows? But maybe you have to. Like sometimes a lullaby is all somebody needs. And then sometimes what they need is uh, two words: wake up. You know, or just something. See what I mean? Like we can't, we explain too much, too much to people. See what I mean? We think too much. That's why you go to the power animal to find out another way of working. See what I mean? we're, we're, we already know how good we are at life. Now what we want to do is see if we can come up with something else. Michelle, go ahead. Because when we put a voice into an animal, Yes. We, we perceive animals as simple thinkers. So the, the, the instructions they're going to give back are going to be elegantly simple. Good. They're not going to, oh, animals don't overthink things. There we go. So, you know, I can, I can see the value in that. Nice. Uh, so that, that's, look, and you're acting like one now. <laughs> I mean, you're not overthinking it and you're speaking simply. So yeah, we're on the right track. Um, we, we're, our power animals can, don't forget, they also know our heart and they know our body and they know our spirit. Um, they don't know our mind as much. Our mind knows our mind, but we've been there. We know the mind. We're going somewhere else now. We want to get away from mind and find out what our heart and our spirit means so mariana a good a great example would be you get to that woman on her throne the green dress the light shining on her and she speaks from her heart what does that look like see what does that look like that's amazing so in the links by the way um we'll find out what the links wants to do um to uh, obviously in oxana's case to show you what is this baby doing here in the room um what is how is the baby my teacher you see what I mean? Let's start drumming. You want to give me the drum? I'm going to drum for only seven minutes. And this is going to be another power animal journey. And you're going to go down the hall um, and through the hall, the same <laughs> hall, find the same power animal, check them out right away. And then we're going to ask uh, these questions we just asked, whichever one you need. And, uh, make, and you can ask them their name. You can ask the links their, their name and stuff like that. And uh, uh, we still want to know what Katuska's real teaching journey is. What What is her wisdom to teach Olga? Mm -hmm, well, she mm -hmm. kind of knows, but mm -hmm. we know mm -hmm. Katuska. No. Okay. No. So this is seven minutes. Seven. Down the hole, through the hole, go to the other side and check in with your power animal and find out what wants to happen now. Seven minutes. <coughs>
Three more minutes to get your work done. Three more minutes. Seven beats ends the journey. Back up the hole, come back up the same hole you went down. Back to the middle world. Oh, we got you, wow. Amazing. Uh, Mariana, I had another journey for you, and uh, which was amazing. And uh, the woman spoke to me and she said, uh, that as a healer, she knows people's secrets. And it's their embarrassing secrets, and the, but she could put them on the table. She's nice to people, but the secret has to come out. And she's standing there, and she knows you know, and you know she knows. So that's why it's easy for them to tell you their problems and their secrets, because they know you already know their secret, it's too late. And uh, it's an exciting um, kind of way of working where you, <laughs> You don't have to, you know, get them to confess. They, you just say, I, I, know what, I know what happened. And they say, I know you know. And that's a, a really exciting because when, when people have secrets, those are blocks and they can't go on with their lives. Family secrets, many people don't know their family secret. Look at all the uh, kids who don't know the secret between their parents, you know? Why did they have that problem? Because they're not gonna tell you. So these are extremely amazing uh, problems and you have to open up, the, you have to crack open the secrets. That's what I'm saying. Once something is not a secret on the table, the healing begins. Um, how did you go, Oksana? Okay, um, it it was intense in the way it was. Um, it was really beautiful experience. So we were just walking in the woods, and the woods were alive and I was talking to a tree it was not it, it was not even talking it was a different way of communicating but I felt like I'm part of the woods and the woods is part of me it was just a beautiful very flowy type of experience and every time I would turn to my links to ask a question she would kind of like turn me away and kind of like not saying anything kind of like like maybe in a way saying just keep walking just just sure. experience that 
Good. And so I was not able to ask a single question. Beautiful. You can't so, beat it. But that, that, that was the experience. People present. It's working. We don't need questions. <laughs> yes. That's really clear. That's a great journey. By the way, when we have these shaman journeys, and they are extremely beautiful and extremely physical, and it, 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 an amazing like a, experience like that, like a botanical garden or something, you know, something really t terrific. The answer is do it. You know, this is a great resource for you to walk in that world. Um, I, when I saw you talking like this, I thought, you know, uh, Bonanza, we've hit it. We've hit the, we've hit the, the big one, you know, you can't so be. The, the um, just one thing that I, 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 I'm just kind of remembering that we got on top of the tree. So I was kind of following her and I'm flow like I'm, it's like a really flowy experience. I, I was it just, I don't know how to say that. I was not above, I was not beyond. It was kind of like in mid air. And then uh, I asked her, so what is my purpose here? What am I doing here? And she said one word, keeper. So you're wow. kind of like a keeper or keeper, or I don't know. I have no idea what it means, like the nature. I, I have no idea, but that, that was the word, the keeper. People who are keepers are keepers of lore. They're keepers of uh, the, the chanapa. They're keepers of the, of the chanapa is the keeper of the peace pipe. Um, yeah. the, keeper, the, you, the keeper is an, an important person who's holding something for the people. Uh, or the knowledge. I, I don't know. But, but that, that was interesting because I, you know, that makes you kind of like. Well, it also puts you in a certain status. Don't forget. I mean, if you're a keeper, then, then you have a, now I think it's, don't forget, Frodo had the ring, and he still didn't know what it was, you know? Uh, yeah. He was a keeper of the ring, um, and it was his mission, and he didn't have to know necessarily. Um, so this is a great question, and you can go on a few more journeys to find out what I'm a keeper mm -hmm, of. Mm -hmm. And great question. Um, but now we know um, you have an important job that you're doing. This is, There's this is, something happening, yeah, for sure. This, really, mm. this is a, a spectacular second journey um, for just how you feel, by the way. Look at her. She's like in a trance, like a spectacularly. It, it, it was beautiful. Yeah, oh it my was God. really beautiful. Um, wow. Um, what about <laughs> Michelle? How'd you go, Michelle? Unmute. Yes. Okay, here we go. Um, well, I have to say that your instruction, when you said you are the, an in between sessions, sure. you said you are the animal, you are that size. Sure. And it made me more of a participant and less of an observer. So that was like really key. I really never had become the animal before. And nice. so I got messages from my spirit animal. Do you want to hear them? Yeah, I would love to. You have many appendages. Keep them outstretched. Wow. Eat plants. Right. <laughs> Treat all as fragile creatures. Yes. Connect with and use your powers of self-repair. Whoa. Relax into depending on others. Wow. Observe, witness, don't overthink. And don't release negativity like an invasive species into your surroundings. Right. So this... that's the message I got from the stick bug. It's a walking stick. Yes, it is. Oh my God, yes. That's spectacular. Um, by the way, I think Michelle was also doing what we call a merger, when you merge with your power animal. So, and even though the power animal is talking to you, you're still merging with it, which, which allows you to have this easy access because now you get to speak their language. Now they have an easy time making exchanges and contact. Um, that was spectacular. Um, and uh, uh, wow, I'm really, very happy. I'm glad we're recording this as well. <laughs> so we can keep all these things. By the way, um, this is also called wisdom of circle because you'll notice that somebody in the room is, is um, um, the shaman's in the room and it was the stick bug and the stick bug is guiding all of us at this moment. Um, and we're all sharing this, this vision. Um, we've got about five more minutes. Um, and Mariana. Yes. I, uh, I, it's, it's actually, it was very easy for me to connect to that woman that you desc described. Wow. Um, like I could 
I mean, like I again like I don't I'm not sure I saw her but like I I could like sense her feel her yeah, of course uh, there was one thing that was I kind of again like I don't know if I whether I knew it or I felt it or I saw it not sure but like there was this uh, spiral that she gave me like a like a copper like like it was orange so so not orange but it was like this like copperish um so like what? a copper spiral oh, yeah. okay, i don't know like what that what that like what, that was like a thing that i saw and that she gave me so i don't know what it is but like it was beautiful like mm -hmm. i i i don't know what it is many people say the world is a is a vortex rather than a circle or a, um, um, a, a, or, or a ball. A, a vortex is another way of working life because it expands and contracts. Um, and uh, I think it's, it's a spiral is, is, a, is, a, is a, something to reflect on as a wisdom. Yes. Maybe um, it's a labyrinth. Well, <laughs> that's a spiral, by the way. That's a spiral, yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. Absolutely. Labyrinth. Yes, it is. Um, wow, and uh, Olga. What is that? Good. What have you got, Olga? That's Kate's message for everybody. What did you write in there? I wrote, first I wrote, nature is good, and second I wrote, my animal is a tiger. That's right. Nature is good. That's pretty much what Michelle was saying, too. <laughs> good for you, Kate. That's amazing. That's tiger speaking. Did you want to share? I agree. I have, a pet, I have pet stick bugs. Wow. Oh, wow. So wow. I don't know if it's feeding because I actually see them, you know, and I interact with them. Wow. But I feel like I'm closer to my companions after this. Wow. Hey, They're so um, Ursula, did you have a journey that you want to talk about? Uh, no, I did. The second one, the, yes. Uh, because um, our friend died two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were kind of like after shock after all this happened. So my birds right away went like his body was laying down, and my birds were like just like boom 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 like doing something with Richard, with that friend who died. And like I was like, why you were like, what are you doing with with him? And they were saying that they just making him alive. Um, so that's what the birds were doing. And then the birds right away went to his wife and um, they were working with her. And they, they told me also that they are like lifting all the weight from her shoulders, like, so she can be alive also again. Like they were just helping both of them, yeah. And by the way, what uh, Ursula just, I can explain, uh what it means for the birds to make a uh, dead man alive. It turns out that we call him a dead man and he probably found out he was dead. So he thought, well, I guess I have to lie here and not do anything. And uh, the birds are basically saying, no, your spirit, you know, spirit gets to like fly yeah, and, and be alive and do things and, uh, and be reborn and, uh, but also talk to people and, and move around. And, and then so, so it's a more lively spirits, more lively, you know, as a, um, as a ghost or something, than a, than a person who thinks they're supposed to be a corpse. The, the, the modern consciousness uh, gives us very bad language for how to prosecute our life and how to pr prosecute our death. And our death is just, you're supposed to lie there and don't do anything. And the answer is no, it's, they've got lots of work to do uh, in the other world. They have to go, go say hello to all their uh, relatives that are um, coming to, to greet them, etc. So it, 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 very exciting for the the birds to go help Richard and then, and then to, to bring the widow back into life because that's fair enough. Uh, this was an astonishing second journey. Yep, uh, minute, we, are, we are cooked. We're done. And uh, uh, you guys are magnificent. Any one last question for, from somebody? We've got a minute for a question. I think I'm going to write your email address in the chat, Barnaby. So in case we have any questions later on, we can always reach out to you. And if you've got any more things that happened in the journey, I can talk to you. And I love you madly. You guys are like rocking. That was an amazing journey. We'll do another one uh, pretty soon. Uh, we'll keep this team going. You guys are great. Uh -huh. get, get, get. Uh -huh. Oka's got my email. I just... 
posted it in the chat, so I hope you can all see it. Burnaby. Don't end the conversation yet, okay. Thank you. And I just wanted to ask everyone uh, for the recording purposes, are you okay with this conversation being a part of it or do you prefer it to be confidential? What are your, is that okay? Thank you. Totally fine by me. Thank you. Wonderful work. Boy, Oksana, that was a beautiful forest journey. We should all take those journeys. Wow, Mariana, you, you made that contact. I swear that was yours. That was, that was your, your girl. <laughs> really amazing. Thank you, guys. I love you. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you, Barnaby. Have a good evening, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.